So I'm often asked, when is a Game Guru Max version of Cineguru coming out? You know, are we developing it? When can we expect it? And the truth is that we actually started working on it in the summer of 2022. But back then, Game Guru Max was still very much in development. We discovered some bugs that were pretty much showstoppers that made it sort of pointless for us to continue developing it any further. And also my computer was pretty long in the tooth at that point and just didn't run Max very well. So it wasn't really a very good PC to sort of show off Cineguru anyway. But a few things have happened since then, so obviously you'll all be aware that Game Guru Max has now kind of entered version 1 and has kind of transitioned out of early access and uh, TGC are now in a big phase of bug fixing. So I'm a little bit more optimistic now that some of those bugs that we found back in the summer will be fixed. Also I got a new PC, I built a new PC last month and uh, I'm about three weeks into using that. So really just over the last sort of week, two weeks, I've been taking a look at some of the work we did last summer and just seeing what still works and, and what doesn't work and rebuilding some of the stuff that um, I started. So this is the Cineguru example map. So a version of this comes with Cineguru Classic and it basically shows you all the different ways you can use the various markers and triggers and zones um, to create your own cinematics. Um, so, I mean, there have been a few changes for Cineguru Max. So the most visual change really is that the markers themselves have changed slightly. They're a little bit nicer, a little bit beveled. The materials are kind of PBR now and the colors have changed slightly and the designs have been tweaked just so they're a little bit more kind of visible at kind of great distances. So if you've got a large portion of your map open, you can still kind of pick out your camera markers and whatever uh, at some distance, which I think is, is really helpful. But really the main bulk of the work has been on making Cineguru more intuitive because we're fully aware that the original Cineguru was a bit cumbersome. So if we were in Game Guru Classic right now, to get this camera marker to do something, you would have had to have named it in a very specific way. You'd have had to given it a very unique name and then there would have been a load of numbers and a load of commas and um, every number had its was like a parameter that you were editing. So it could have been the length of the shot or the frame of view or is there a fade on the end or what's the name of the camera that it's going to cut to at the end of the shot. And all of that stuff had to be kind of very specifically input. So the chances are you probably needed a second monitor with the manual open on it or perhaps some of the video tutorials I did a bit later on. Um, but it was quite laborious and time consuming. The good thing about Game Guru Max is that thanks to Dynamic Lua, we can now expose all these parameters um, in the editor. So now you don't have to worry about the syntax. You don't even have to worry about the name of the camera marker. All of the camera markers in this level are called camera marker. Doesn't matter. What matters are the parameters. So by using text fields and sliders, you can very quickly kind of input all the different parameters. But that's not all. The the real star really is the visual logic system. So getting uh, elements to talk with each other in Game Guru Classic involves you having to name them in a very specific way. So you would have had to name this trigger zone in a very specific way to tell this camera to fire first. But by using the visual logic system, all we got to do is literally draw a line between the elements. And that's it. We've created a cinematic and it's now going to trigger zone activates camera one. Camera one does a little zoom. Camera one finishes and activates camera two, which in this case is just a static shot. But that's it. Like, I mean, that's as simple as it gets, right? All we've done is literally draw a line or two lines and we've created a cinematic. So I'm gradually going through this old example map and kind of copying the examples I did for Game Guru Classic, but in Game Guru Max, and just kind of seeing what works and what doesn't work. Um, because some of the functionality did already work in Game Guru Max. Uh, I know some people have bought Cineguru Classic and just ported those entities directly into Game Guru Max. And some of it works. Like if you're prepared to do all that kind of naming, um, you know, all the syntax stuff, the the instructions still work and uh, and you can actually get cameras and focal points and things to work what doesn't work are actors and some of the triggers so i wouldn't recommend buying cineguru right now if your plan is to use it in game guru max um, because half of the functionality doesn't work um, but as I say, thanks to the work of last summer and the last couple of weeks, now we've got things like focal points working. So um, this is a shot where we are actually scanning between three different uh, focal points. So a focal point tells the camera where to point. And in Game Guru Classic, this would have been like a kind of a diamond shape. But um, I've changed the design of them to be more like 3D kind of crosshairs. So you're really pointing to the exact point in space where your camera is going to be pointing to. So it's a real clear indicator of that. 
Um, we do actually have a new marker entity that's similar to this. So that's a focal point. So that kind of tells you um, that your camera is going to point in that direction. We also have something called a focal target. Now, a focal target addresses one of the um, one of the complaints, I would say, of Game Guru uh, or Cine Guru Classic was that um, there was no really good way of tracking moving objects um, other than having a whole string of focal points just sort of drawn out in a long line. Um, there was a functionality in Game Guru uh, Cine Guru Classic where you could, let's say, name this camera camera one and then if you named your moving entity camera one underscore target the camera would point to it but it would point to the origin point which would be in this case the feet like pretty much all entities in in game guru the the origin point is sort of the ground plane so um you'd end up with your camera just following the feet of this police officer as he walks around um so we've created a new marker called the focal target and um you just literally draw a connection to the focal target and the focal target is basically a basically what it says is um, if this marker is attached to this moving entity the camera will point at this entity but offset by whatever the values are in these sliders and to be honest that the real useful one is the y offset because that will kind of get the camera pointing not at the feet but actually at the body or at the head um, so just by tweaking that a little bit you can kind of get the camera pointing wherever you need to for um, moving objects. Um, so I will demo, that, demo this in a second, but I do just want to point out that... Um, so here's a bug, here's something that does need to be fixed. This is not our side, this is uh, TGC's side. So Game Guru Max has this weird thing where it forgets where zones are. So here's a trigger zone, right? Um, but you notice the kind of yellow hexagon or pentagon around it is missing. And for some reason it is over here now, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why that is, um, on top of this other zone. So this is the zone that actually triggers all this cinematic that's actually next to it. Um, but the, the the yellow lines for, for this zone are now over here for some reason, and I don't really know why. Um, I mean, all you've got to do to get them back is just click it and they'll come back. Um, let's see, they've moved now. I don't... I don't really know why the, the zones in Game Guru Max are a bit senile, but they don't seem to remember where they are from one save to the next. Um, but it's an intermittent fault, so yeah, difficult to kind of to demonstrate. But anyway, so uh, just to show you how focal targets work, so I will just go over and trigger that. And so now you can see that our camera is following our policeman wherever he walks. Uh, but we've offset it, so we're not looking at his feet, we're looking more at his head, which is kind of cool. And we're also doing stuff to do with actors, that's really the main challenge at the moment, is kind of triggering actors and getting them to do stuff. I'll uh, show another example in a second um, that shows you how far we've got with that. Um, and then also triggers as well, because um, Cineguru also comes with a range of ways in which you can kind of trigger cinematics using objects in the world. So in this case you could, I don't know, press a button, and you've not just triggered a door, but you've also triggered a camera or if you wanted to build a bit of a delay into that, so you trigger the camera first, then you trigger the door, you can do that too. Um, or perhaps you just want to, well, you could trigger anything, really. You could trigger the spawning of an object if you wanted. If it was uh, not spe uh, set to spawn at the beginning, you could trigger an object to spawn um, like this. So it's all gradually coming together. There, there's still quite a lot we've got to work on. We've got to work on sound. We've got to work on the image. Um, triggers we've got to do credit triggers and all the rest of it as i say the main thing at the moment is us working on uh characters and actors and getting them to do things so this is a recreation of the old bob and jane example from uh from uh, cine guru classic so here we're just triggering some actors and because we're not triggering any cameras you know the, the player is free to kind of walk around the scene so you can imagine this being quite good for a sort of an immersive type cut scene like a half-life 2 type of thing where the player can still be you know doing stuff within the level but the characters are kind of acting around him and the actors have got a couple more commands now so they can trigger cameras themselves and they can also um, activate whatever's in their if used field as well so in this case we're using that to open this door so um, we can trigger this cinematic. You can see. Um, General, there's a problem in sector 34. We can kind of move the around. Door won't unlock for any personnel. That's the door down the hall, isn't it? Bit of lip syncing going on as well. Yes, the big green shutter that door. could be better, I suppose, but that's not really us. That's down to Game Guru Luckily Max. Luckily for you, I can open it from here. And then, in in this actor's action text, it basically uh, says that he activates this door, so that opens. So that could be a cool. Uh, 
cool way of triggering stuff. Um, so yeah, it is it is coming together a bit slowly. Um, and obviously, with all of this, you know, I've got to write a, a brand new manual basically because the way all this stuff works has completely changed. So so it, so it will need uh, a written description to explain how to set all this stuff up because it's um, this side of it with actors is all still done through text files. Um, so it it does yeah, that's a bit harder. And of course. That means I'll also need to do a whole load of video tutorials as well, so we are still some way off having a finished product. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of where we're at with Cineguru Max. Um, as for when it will be finished, I don't know, it's going to be a combination of when TGC can fix the bugs that we need them to, uh, and when we you know, are able to kind of just get through this mountain of work that we've got to do. And, you know, all the documentation and package it up really nicely and all the rest of it. So. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, but it is on its way. So uh, thank you so much for your patience. And if you've been one of those people that's been asking, hopefully this goes some way to kind of explaining what's what's been up. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, please uh, please stay tuned for more for more news and more examples of, uh, of Cineguru Max. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for all the support so far.